Hello and welcome back my friends, I'm Daily Fix. Now last time we went to the 9 stars and well, I wanted to go out and save to the save file. We got this popping up and I feel that we definitely have to show you. Okay, so you notice the great specular down one of the pav uh, pavians. A man in arms, a young squire in the night with a surcoat showing seven black stripes and nine stars uh, are beating a young man while the young woman looks on a horrified look on her face moving nearer she runs to your side asking for your help it seems the knight foundly uh, foundled her and the young man her betrothed uh, protested that is when the knight hit him in the face with a steel gauntlet and the man at arms started kicking him. Suddenly the squire turns around and yanks the woman away, taking hold of her hand and wow, breaking her wrist. Wow, are we going to be like making the veil an enemy? This might be a very, very difficult one though. And I can't go back and redo it. So if we ignore the, you know, seeing for the time, uh, that there, there, there was a right for a knight, so sort of the lord of the land, to have first go <laughs> with the woman. Um, yeah, it's the, the, the weirdest rule ever. Uh, but we are Mr. Handsome, and we are the saviors of those who need it, right? So I'm saying we are going. As you start brawling with the man, guardsmen from the castle come running over to break up the fight before they arrive. You manage to take a swing at the knight and hit him right on the nose. Blood spurts fraud. But in the meantime, the man in arms has managed to get a club ready and hits you in the head, causing you to fall unconscious. As you wake up, you notice the dim light and a moldy smell. Opening your eyes, you realize you're in some sort of dungeon. It feels like your head is being invaded by an army of archons. Great, no clue what kind of weird creature it is. And your body is blue and yellow, covered in bruises. As you get to you on your feet, you hear voices outside the locked door. And tr trying to stand upright, you wait until the man outside to enter. Hmm... Uh oh, we did the seer give him the letter, so he's probably not going to be pleased. I'm sorry sir, I, I, I hit one of your men probably. Mr. Sexy, what were you thinking? The knight you attacked was Sir Raymond Templeton, Sir Seymour's youngest uncle. What a mess, the man is infuriated. Let me ask you this Mr. Sexy, how good of a fighter are you? <laughs> not, not, not that good. I got a pretty face, but that's kind of all. Ah, doesn't say much, does it? What a vague answer. You're a guest here, Mr. Sexy, and an unknown one at that. You struck a relative of the Knights of the Nine outside his own castle. Sir Simon would be in his right to cut off your off offending hand. It's kind of hard to shoot a bow then. What are these horns every time getting inside of the... Okay. Yeah, that... Okay, whatever. Anyway, but um, Sir Raymond was never his favorite uncle, nor is he a friend of mine. So it's been agreed that you will be judged by someone other than Sir Simon. Uh, probably, it's probably Simon. Simon? Is it Simon or Simon? I, I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong. As it's happened, it will be one of three judges at your trial. Then they are. Uh, then why are you here? Why indeed, Sir Raymond and I have never been fast friends. To tell you the truth, I despise the man, however. The other two judges are his brothers, and I'm the Castellanian of the Nine Stars, and the Knight of the House of Tollet. My word carries weight in these parts, and I will urge to, ju to the judge to be merciful. However, you struck the youngest brother of the two other judges, so there's a risk that you wake up tomorrow without a hand. <laughs> just okay oh good morning oh what the fuck was my hand ah well tell me you stand accused of assaulting the relative of the knight of the nine stars the judges will be unlikely to look upon your case with favorable eyes but if you demand a trial by combat you might be able to prevail as you ask 
Oh, so I ask you again, Mr. Sexy, how good of a warrior are you? Oh boy, I see. How good of a warrior am I? Now, we got a okay amount, but our proficiency is quite shit. Uh, we got zero in shield, so that is not going to be helping us much. If we do, like... We could get, like, uh, iron flesh. And one... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go one in intelligence. So we can have the iron flesh. And... Is weapon proficiency really going to be a difference there? And no, we're not getting any points. So let's take this one. And... Probably, let's do one in shield. Increase our one-handed proficiency as much as we can. Well, guys, this could be the end of a quick series. Oh, man, uh, since I've discovered this button, I've been playing this game for... I, I'll have to take a peek. No, I can't, because if I tap out now, then I'll be shit. But I, I've been playing the game for more than 630 hours on Steam. I should be close to a thousand. I've never discovered this button. It's the numerical button next to the one and above the tap. And it's so much easier. Man, I wish I had this one during Bellardi Unbeatable. Also a story by Aiden, of course. But uh, let's talk to this again. Sleep on it, Mr. Zaxa. The, start, the trial start tomorrow. So are we really going to sleep or are we just going to be tapping? Yes. Okay. Now, as soon as Sir Alan leaves your cell, you fall into a dreamless sleep. You're woken by the call of a rooster. And soon enough, the guards come to fetch you for your trial. As the guards escort you to the Great Hall of the Nine Stars, you notice a mass of noble lords and ladies, the knights attending the tournament, and uh, and their wives and companions. Wives and companions, okay. Uh, the squires and attendants. My god, there's a lot of people there. All have turned out. There were more people here watching for my trial than for the wedding, it seems. Uh, all have turned out to watch the trial. You can hear whispering. Snickering and quiet conversation, but have no way of knowing whether they're directed at you or Sir Raymond, who have already arrived wearing a double of a yellow and black, or a doublet of yellow and black, my god you're fancy, and spotting a red swollen nose. Look at that, we call a, a reindeer, Rudolph the red nose reindeer, as you make your way towards the days where the three duchesses are sitting. Uh, you see Sir Ellen smiling at you, but the two other judging, scrowling as it is a nasty smell, has followed you into the room. Sir e M Emric and Sir Eric, er Eric Templeton, twins by the look of them, both have the look of warriors, broadened shoulders, thick necks and flat bellies. That doesn't really seem for something that time. As the trial begins, the just ask you if you have anything to say, you decide to... Demand a trial by combat. The hall immediately erupts into chaos, with knights and squires shouting, ladies gasping, servants clapping, Sir Seaman and his two brothers uh, seating and Sir Ellen favoring you with a big grin. The guards look confused, uh, unsure of what to do, until Sir Ellen calls for quiet. He declares a request for, t for a trial by combat within your rights. And that the gods will surely look upon the righteous and with favor. Sir Raymond asked you, asked if you will lose a hand when, you, when he defeats you. And if you decide to accept your yield, Sir Ellen dec um, decrees that the loser will receive 50 lashes. Holy crap. That's a shit ton of lashes. Oh, when the guards gather around to escort you back to the cell, Sir Ellen tells you to stop and insists to bring you to your chamber. As the guards escort you to the Castellanian's chamber, you notice some knights nodding their approval of your actions. It would seem Sir Raymond was not well liked. Wait, this is your chamber. This, no, you're the Castellanian, there's no paintings, no gold. Ah, Mr. Sexy. Did you see the look on Raymond's face? That bastard got a surprise there. Not deny no denying it, uh, but can you defeat him? I admit I know nothing about you, except your, for your abilities to hit knights right on the nose. Are you a knight yourself? No, no, we're not. Ah, oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. 
Do you have your own armor, sword, helmet, horse? Oh well, either way, I should be honored if you'd let me provide you all... Oh, thank you for providing me with all I need, but I don't have riding skill. Mr. Sexy, during the trial, did you notice how some of the knights and ladies seem to approve of your request? Sir Raymond is not well loved, and there's been stories. Peasant girls have been complained have been complained before. Have complained before. Either way, I think that not only the small folk, but the great part of the nobles will be on your side during the fight. Oh well, I suppose. Uh, do you know the rules of the trial by combat, Mr. Sexy? The fights end when either party yields or is killed. Or when the accuser takes back his accusations, or will the accused declare himself guilty? You'll need to either kill Sir Raymond or force him to yield and withdraw his accusations. My god, this is going to be a lot of talking. Please stop it. Oh, man. I don't imagine there's much more to say. The trial is tomorrow. I guess you should get some sleep. Sir Raymond was never a great warrior, but he's not unskilled either. Uh, I see. I'm getting a headache of this shit. Mm. Just don't have any riding skill. I'm, I'm going to be screwed over. Is there anything in this chest that I can take up? No. Okay. Well. Oh, here we go again. As soon as you lie down to sleep, you're pounded how to, desert, uh, how to defeat Sir Raymond. Soon, however, sleep overwhelms you and suddenly dawn has arrived. Once again, the rooster awakens you and Sir... Ellen arrives with the servants carrying a plate with two sausages. Just give me some armor. Three fried duck duck eggs, a piece of new bread fresh from the oven. Oh my god, I'm getting hungry now. And a large piece of blood pudding. Well, okay, my hunger just faded away. When you finish, the servant presents you with the armor provided by Sir Ellen and helps you done it. He explains that Sir Raymond has asked for the trial to be fought on horseback, both of you starting with lances and fighting on foot, should either of you be struck off their saddle. Too soon the servant tells you that the time has come and both... Okay, well, well let's just, let's get the heck going. Okay, this is all absolutely fantastic. Please give me my weapon and let me fight before the episode runs out. Well, this is a uh, real horseback, isn't it? Hmm. He has a mace. Oh shit. Come on. I need to win this. Come on. Why don't I have a helmet? No! Come on! No, I don't want lashes. Come here. Come here, die! No! Oh god, no. You bastard! <sighs> Damn it! Oh yeah, we are going to get a shit ton of whips, guys. As you regain your sense, you can see Sir Raymond standing over you. You notice his lip moving, but you can't make out the words. He leans forward and shouts into your face, asked if you yield. You manage to get a yes through your bloody thieves and Sir Raymond smirks at you, obviously pleased with himself, rolling onto your side. You seem the crowd sulking, uh, obviously displeased with the results and, you, uh, and your performance. Some of the small folks have already started making their way, making way away, making their way away from the grounds. Oh my god, soon the card will drag you to your cell uh, when they're informed that you will receive your punishment the next day. Disappointed and tired, you fall asleep. And all too soon, the sun rises again. The door of your cell is opened and the guards quickly surround you and drag you to the castle courtyard. Uh, where a big farmer stands ready with a whip. I'm glad they asked the farmer and not a bloody executioner. As the first lash strikes your back, you decide not to make a sound, but once the fifth strikes you, you'll forget all about your decision and the rest of the lashes sounds like screaming. Uh, once all of the lashes have fallen, the local maester rushes to your side, talking you, taking you to the tower and giving you milk of a puppy. Milk of the puppy, that, that's like a, a medical thing, right? 
I have no clue. You click quickly lose conscience and when you wake up, hours have gone by. The maester tells you he has done all he can and that he will prob that you'll probably live, but you will lose a lot of blood and will feel like uh, the effect of the lash for the rest of your life. He also informs you that you've been banned from the castle and to leave as soon as you can walk, as the victor of the fight, Sir Raymond, would usually have been the new owner of your arms and armor, but as you loan it from Sir Ellen, you'll receive nothing. The equipment was damaged and dented during the fight, though. Sir Ellen has taken some coin out of your belongings to pay for the repairs. My god, there he goes. Wow. Shit, guys. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I, I'm badly wounded. I've lost some money. Um, I, I lost some... Some strength. No liking this. I wish that we started on horseback. I truly did. I, I usually I can manage then. But I think that um, we are going to have a problem with the veil in the future. I will take my revenge on that bloodthirsty hound that makes his way around the ladies. But I'm sure that oh, eventually we'll probably have to start raiding these lands. Carefully. Well, let's, let's get the heck out of here. I've lost enough face for one episode. I'm sure that we were very, very close at fighting or winning. A youthful Pakistan decided to settle down for a while to fish in a nearby lake. You start to doze off when suddenly something yanks on the fish line. You decide to yank it back. Yeah, give me some fish. Man, I feel disappointed. I really do. Um... Uh, Maybe I should have put two points in shield because I feel that as soon as the uh, the shield fell, it, it was game over. We also we now have no more quests to do. Bit of shame, and we lose a shit ton of money as well. I think, I think it's time to get ourselves a, a small quest going. Maybe fighting as a merchant mercenary. In a enemy uh, enemy army, and not as one of his troops. No, just as a quest one. Um, be the um, look at this go. The stormlands are really going in here. We are going to be asking one of these lads if we can join up. There are some broken men here as well. Stormland vanguards, man at arms. It's a pretty pretty large army. I'm not sure if we can manage. But I kind of, I kind of want to give this a go. If we are going to lose, then this has been a terrible, terrible way to go. Um, I'm, I'm afraid then that these guys might join in them. He is actually running away from me, huh? Well, let's see how far he will run. Uh, you will regret leaving your army. Here we go. I just want to have a few fights done. Um, yeah, okay. We already know how this will go. Uh, infantry. Archers. I don't believe we have any cavalry. Let's take a quick look. No, we don't. Uh, we got a ton of infantry. Okay, infantry. Can you go into a shield wall formation? Shield wall. I've, I don't know what's up with my F5 button, really. I, I can't seem to be doing it. Infantry. No. Oh well. Guess this is how it has to be. Where's Mr. Handsome? Here he is. Well, uh, I'm going to count on you, sir. And I, once again, I'm unable, unable, Let, let's do the ask, ask thing. Okay. Can I now, okay, now I can. So they are moving in single file. I'm going to let my archers have the way. No, actually not. I want you to hold fire. Until they're close. Are they only over there? Are they that far out? 
we'll probably lose maybe 25 to 50% of our troops. It will just have to be like that. Okay, there's some running over there. Arrows start to be flying. Wait, what the heck is this? Come on, guys. Okay, so they've decided not to go anywhere forward. Let's go forward then. If they don't come to us, we'll just have to go to them. Uh, let's shield up. Wow. Archers over here. And this time I will tell the archers to just uh, fire at will. Go. And we're going with them. Yeah, we just have to start attacking them. They are just not wanting to come towards us. Okay, just charge in infantry. Okay, let's go. Ooh, wow. That is some solid shooting stuff. Uh, the reason I want to go with my one-handed this time is because, uh, well, we definitely lock, uh, lack proficiency. These buildings are quite annoying. I, I wish this map was not in here. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, hello. Come on. Okay, he finally fell down. Oh shit. That's not good. Um, infantry. Go there. Oh, I just come to this point. These buildings are really not leaning towards me. Come on. Just a few. We have to take out the archers that are standing over there, to be honest. Come on. Last one, no! Come on. Wow, they really don't want to be fighting me apparently. Yeah, hello, good for you to notice me, finally. No, I stumble and fall. Mm. Okay, okay, we're going to do this differently. Everyone, come here. And uh, we're moving far out. Everybody, come here. Now everyone, hold this position. Oh man.
Okay, he died. Okay, everybody go. Everybody charge. Oh my god. They, this is annoying. Okay, we need some arrows. Because I'm not getting in there just fighting by myself. I'll, I'll, I'll prefer just doing it by the bow. Only few remaining. Oh, we won. Um, yeah, what a fight. What a fight. These buildings annoy me greatly. Um, but we managed to win. There were six of us killed. Uh, like I said, um, six killed. But we do get a few more guys. Uh, let's at least hire a few of these guards. The vanguards and uh, yeah, these are quite nice against those horses. Um, man at arms. Ooh. Let's get the shield. I can't use use any of these helmets. It's because we quite lost lost a, a a number of these uh, modifiers. I'll probably change them back. Because it uh, doesn't make sense to me. Um, the shield. Definitely the shield. One-handed weapon proficiency. have to go up. Let's go. Anyways, guys. I think this is going to be the wrapping up point. Um, we were utterly defeated at the in nine stars. Although, I think it was a very, very close one. Unfortunately, the shield broke. And yeah, that what is what screwed me over. I'm sure I could have defeated him. But because I wasn't able to save for that thing to happen, there's actually no way for me to redo this quest. So yeah, it's a shame, but we'll have to live with it. Uh, we will eventually declare war on the Vale for what they've done to us. We will be lenient towards Sir Alan, who has helped us, and the rest of it can burn for all I care about. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.